Imagine meeting a little girl who couldn't speak. She couldn't speak because she was sexually abused as an infant in a country that viewed girls as property that could be bought or sold. This little girl changed the course of my life. I found my reason for being. I knew I couldn't live in a world that this was happening in and I do nothing about it. So I went to work. I made a decision right then and there that I would live the rest of my life doing whatever it took to put an end to this. I recognized that though I didn't have any money, influence or resources at that time, I lived in a country with the resources available that if I just focused, I could figure this out. So I dove in. I read every single book I could get my hands on. I offered to work for free and then I did. I ended up living in my car and working for free for nine months. My goal was to become capable, to be able to be God's hands and feet and respond to the call of God on my life, to be able to provide for more than just myself and my family. There's nothing holy about that. Mother Teresa said, you can't give what you don't have. So if you want to give, if you want to change things, you got to go after it. There is nothing holy about playing small. You are not helping the world by shying back. It's time. Get the education. Read the book. Hire the mentor. Do what you have to do to be ready. In life, you're either going to step up or step out. It's not someone else's responsibility. I realize every day that though I was struggling and though this journey was difficult, I could have been that little girl. And I wasn't. But if I was, I would wish every day that someone would care enough to do something about it. To stand up for me. To be my voice. And to believe that I was worth fighting for.